атомной бомбы. Советская военная делегация во главе с генерал-майором Вороновым осматривает разрушение. The story of Sadako's 1,000 paper cranes. In an effort to end World War II, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan, on August 6, 1945. A young girl in Hiroshima, Japan, named Sadako Sasaki, was two years old when the atomic bomb was dropped. She survived the initial blast and grew up as a happy child who loved to run and play with her friends in elementary school. When Sadako was 11 years old, she started to feel weak and tired all of the time. In February of 1955, she was admitted to the Atomic Bomb Survivors Hospital in Hiroshima. Sadako had developed leukemia from her exposure to radiation from the atomic bomb. Students from a girls' school in Nagoya, Japan, sent origami cranes to the hospital to help the patients feel better. Some of these cranes were given to Sadako. Sadako's father sat beside her and said, When you fold 1,000 paper cranes, your wish will come true. Sadako began folding 1,000 paper cranes using the wrapping paper from gifts she received from friends. She would put the paper underneath her mattress to flatten out the wrinkles. When she ran out of paper, she also used the wrappers from medicine bottles. Some of the special red cranes she folded were made from the wrappers of a new medicine that was donated by an American company. Even though Sadako folded more than 1,000 paper cranes, she could not overcome her disease. She died of leukemia on October 22, 1955. A funeral was held a few days later, but the family was poor and did not have enough money for a tomb. After the funeral, many of Sadako's friends decided to help raise money for a memorial in Sadako's memory. Several days after the funeral, Sadako's friends heard that the conference of high school principals was being held in Hiroshima. Sadako's friends worked hard to print out a leaflet to distribute at the meeting. They hoped that the principals could help them raise money for Sadako's memorial. For two and a half years, Sadako's classmates worked hard on a fundraising campaign to raise money and support to build a memorial in honor of Sadako and all of the children who died from the atomic bombings. On May 5, 1958, the Children's Peace Monument was unveiled in the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. The statue of the young girl holding up the crane is now viewed around the world as a symbol of peace. Since 1958, many people from around the world, including thousands of student groups, have visited the Children's Peace Monument. Visitors have witnessed the annual release of doves to commemorate the anniversary of the atomic bombing. Many others have folded and sent strings of origami cranes to Hiroshima as a symbol of peace. In the early 2000s, Sadako Sasaki's older brother, Masahiro Sasaki, decided to donate five of Sadako's original origami cranes to five continents. He hoped that Sadako's kokoro, or spirit, could be shared with others. After the tragic events of September 11th, the Japan Society of New York invited Masahiro to New York City. He chose to place one of Sadako's most precious origami cranes at the Tribute World Trade Center Visitor Center at Ground Zero because of the devastating event that occurred there. The origami crane is a symbol of the Sasaki family's hopes for compassion and peace and, importantly, a lasting symbol of Sadako's life. Sadako folded origami cranes to keep her spirit and hopes alive. Today, Sadako's cranes have inspired a small ripple of hope for peace that has grown and spread around the world.